let's get started. I have a blank canvas here and I'm going to go and I first want to put the rectangle that I found that will look great for the bookmark. So I went into images and I researched it and what I found was the one rectangle with circles. If you just type that in on the top, it's going to bring this first one. This is with Cricut Access, so if you don't have it, it, you may have to pay for it. If you have access, it's completely free. So we're gonna click on it, and then it's gonna come down to the bottom, and we're gonna hit Insert Images. Okay, so this is what we want. However, we're gonna modify this a bunch. The first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna put it so it looks like a bookmark if you were looking at it in a book. So we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. So we're gonna go up to the top and through the rotate we're going to type in 90 and then you can just hit enter and there you go. Now the next thing we want to do is that's a really big bookmark. 12 inch height by four and something inches wide is way too big. And I found that especially for kids, they have a little bit of smaller books. So we're going to make it a good size. We're going to make it the width two inches. So you're going to go over here to size. You're going to hit at the W, you're going to hit two. And then what we're going to do here is we're actually gonna keep this at 5.572 inches. You can change it. This is um, how you would do it. You would unlock the proportions and you could change it to any size length you want. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is because it happens to be a great size for a bookmark. So the next thing we wanna do is we don't need circles. We just wanna use the back as the template to start with. So we're going to take the circles and we're gonna get rid of it. So we're gonna go over here to where it says rectangle with circles and we're going to click on it, hit delete. There we go. Now we have what we need. Now the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to go up here to duplicate and I'm gonna duplicate it because we need one for the back and we need a front. So now we have two. The back one is gonna be white, so right away we're gonna change that to white. So we're gonna click on the little circle right here, and we're gonna click on white. It doesn't really matter um, because what paper you put in is what it's gonna cut out. Okay, so we have the back is white. For now, we're gonna keep this as a gray. It's a nice color for a template. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to cut out our heart because we're gonna make a Pokeball heart. So we're going to go down here to shapes on the left hand side. We're going to click shapes and we're going to click heart. Now a standard heart size is going to come up. If you click off of it, that menu will go away. Now click back on the heart. Right now it's locked proportions and that's way too big. So what we want to do is we want to size it correctly. We want to take our pointer and click on the arrows and make it smaller. Another thing you can do is you know that this is two inches wide, so we wanna make it a little bit smaller than two inches, so we could also type in the dimensions we want. So we could do 1.75, make sure it's locked, and the proportions will be perfect. So let's see, I'm gonna put it about there, not right in the middle, um, sometimes symmetrical isn't always the best for design. That looks like a pretty good size. I might make it even a little bit smaller just because when it's cutting out, I don't want it to be too thin. So I'm gonna make it 1.7. Let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, so we definitely always want to have this centered. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to click on the heart. We're gonna hit our control or command. If you are Mac, it'd be command. You're gonna hit your control button or your shift button or command, and you're going to then click on the other one. So now both of them are highlighted. And you can see over here, the two ones that are darker gray are the ones that we want. So we first wanna align it. So we're gonna go up to the top, right next to edit is align. You're gonna click on that little arrow. And all we don't wanna center it in the middle. What we wanna do is center it horizontally. We don't want to center it in the middle vertically, just horizontally. So you're going to click center horizontally. And what it does is it centers the things that you highlighted together. So there you go. You saw it moved over. Now it's nice and symmetrical, at least from the left to the right. I'm pleased with this. I am very pleased with this. I think this is going to look great. 
So the next thing we want to do though, is we don't want to cut out a heart separate and then glue it on. We actually want to have the heart cut out of the bookmark. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the heart and then hold your command or control button and click on the front of the bookmark. And you're going to have, once they're both together, both highlighted, as you can see, you're going to go down to the right all the way in the bottom and you're going to click slice. It's the first one. So you're going to hit slice, hit it. And there we go. So now you'll see that we can move this black heart out of the way and we can get rid of it. And then we can move this gray heart out of the way and get rid of it. And now what we did was we have the heart cut out instead of going to be glued. So that's how you do that if you haven't figured that out before. So now we have a heart and we have a background. And you know, if you put that over each other, it looks pretty nice. So we need to make it look like a Pokeball. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to get a square. So we're gonna get a square or a rectangle. Um, so I'm gonna click on the square and there comes a square. Once again, you can just click onto the canvas and that menu goes away. Now, obviously the square has to be smaller because it has to fit within the width of the bookmark. So you're going to make it smaller. We can also type it in and this time I'm going to type it in. So we're going to make it a width, um, I'd say 1.7 and see, let's see, no 1.85 and let's see where that goes. So what that's going to do for us is it's going to go almost to the edge, but not quite. Um, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we can maybe even do it. Yeah, let's keep it like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change that to red and you'll see why in a minute. Um, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And why I say that is because I want to make it shorter because normally a bookmark has a little tassel on it. So you have to put a hole. So just to see, we're going to go and put shapes and we're going to hit a circle. A big circle comes up. So if you click on the circle, let's change it to 0.3 inches and hit enter up at the top. You're going to have this. So this is going to be about where we're going to have the circle. And it's just a good reference for now, maybe down a little bit further so it doesn't cut through. So we want to make sure that when we put this red here, it's not going to be too long. It's not going to cover over the hole. Just one last thing we have to cut through. So we're gonna change this black square. We're gonna change that to red. So you're gonna come over to the right, click on the little circle, and we're gonna change it to red. Just any red, just to represent. Now, obviously, this doesn't make any sense. What we wanna do is we want to bring it to the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the, the rectangle and we're going to go up to the top where it says arrange and we're going to say move to back. So now we have the red square in the back. Now the problem here is that it's usually pretty in the middle of a pokeball where you want the black band. Right now there's more red than white. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that smaller. So we're going to move this over and we're going to put this back on top. So we're going to move to front. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Now I just realized, see, I made the mistake too. It is locked. So we're going to unlock the proportions. That way, instead of having a square, we're going to have a rectangle. So we're going to go back to the width and we're going to make that 1.85. Enter. And now we're going to change the height to something smaller. So let's try 1.5. Enter. And let's see where we have that. So that's going to be our circle. So now we're going to move this to the front. And that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect because don't forget, there is going to be a black band. 
Okay, so now let's make the black band. Now we have right now, the square is behind our main front face. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to go back into shapes. We're gonna pick another shape. We're gonna pick a square. And what is a square with unlocked proportions is nothing more than a rectangle. And we need to make a thin rectangle for the black band that goes in the middle of a Pokeball. So click on your square and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna guess um, first of all, I got to unlock the proportions because we're going to make it a rectangle instead of a square. We're going to go up to width and we know that the width is going to be the same as the red. So we're going to do 1.85, enter. So there you go. Now that's going to be the same width and the height. Well, we're not going to want much. So let's try with a half an inch. I think that's going to be way too big. Now look, that's going to be way too big. That doesn't work out. So let's make it smaller. Let's go ahead and do 0.2. All right, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to make sure everything is centered together and then we can group it. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to put this face, we're gonna move that to the back. So we're gonna go arrange up at the top, click on the little arrow, and we're gonna go move to back. We're gonna put it, it moving backward just moves it back one. Move to back means it puts it all the way to the back layer. So we're gonna click move to back. Okay, so now that we have that highlighted, and you can see over there, it's called slice results, what they called it, but you can see the picture on the right-hand side as well. That's highlighted. You're gonna hit your control, and you're gonna hit the red square as well, and you're gonna hit the black rectangle as well. Now, they're all highlighted. You can see the dark gray on the right-hand side. Once they're all highlighted, what you wanna do is you want to align horizontally. And look at that. Beautiful. Everything lined up. So just so that you can see that it looks pretty good, we're going to click off of that. We're going to click on the front face and we're going to go back up to a range and we're going to move it all the way to front. Look at that. That looks great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we can group the black and the red together just so that it doesn't uh, get lost. We have it looking great. We don't want to move it by mistake and then it's not centered anymore. So we're going to go ahead one more time and move the front face to the back so that way we can have access to the red square and to the black rectangle. So we're good, that red square and now we're going to hold the control and we're going to get the black. Now both of those are together. Now we want to group them so that they will move together. So we're going to go to the right. Up at the top, we're going to hit group. It's the first one. We're going to hit group. Now I clicked off it. I want to show you. Now we can move that anywhere and it's together, which is really handy. Okay. So you may be asking yourself, okay, well, what about the white? Well, remember I made the back of the bookmark white. So that's on purpose. This is side, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the words, I choose you, like what they say in Pokemon. We're just gonna do that in the first layer, the front. So we're gonna go into text, and honestly, Cricut Sans comes up. I like the font, I think it's great for this purpose. I'm not gonna play around with it too much. I'm gonna add my text, so the first one is going to be choose, and I'll tell you why in a second. So I'm gonna type in, choose and okay now that's huge obviously that's not going to work for us so the reason why i did that is because i want to be able to move it back and forth and kind of decide all right let's see what looks good so now i'm going to click on choose and i'm going to click and i'm going to hold control and i'm going to click on our front face and i'm going to go to a, a line and then center horizontally. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So now we can go ahead and we're gonna click on the word choose. I'm gonna go up on the right on the top and I'm gonna click duplicate. Now what that does is make sure that I have the exact same size, font, type of font, letter spacing, everything that the other word that we like is that way we don't have to play around with it. It's just an easier way than having to change it every time. So if you double click, you get the word, we wanna change it to I. 
So I'm going to do a capital I. And I'm going to just move that here for now. I think I'm probably going to move that around. But then I'm going to go back to choose. I'm going to hit duplicate on the top right. I'm going to double click. I'm going to choose U, Y-O-U. Now, I like to put some exclamation points because they're very excited about choosing U. But you'll see why I'm going to do this separately. So let me show you. If I just type in an exclamation point now, Look how close they are to each other. And when that cuts out, sometimes it doesn't cut well if your blade isn't that sharp or otherwise it just looks a little bit too crowded. So we wanna make sure that the kids know exactly what the words are and we don't have any issues with the cutting. So I'm gonna double click on this again and I'm gonna get rid of the two exclamation points and I'm just gonna do the U. And then lastly, I'm gonna click on the U. I'm gonna hit duplicate, double click on the U and I'm going to erase it and do two exclamation points. Now they're still really close together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to letter space. And all you're gonna do is click the up hour arrow and you'll see they start getting wider. So let's look at that. That looks a lot better. So I like that. So I'm gonna take the exclamation points and the U, and I'm going to put it together as if I typed it. A little space between the U and the exclamation points. That's pretty good. So now we can hit that, and we can go ahead and hit Control, and put the U, so now they're both selected, and this time we're gonna go up to a line, and we're going to center vertically. That way they're at the same top and bottom. And so there we go. Now you know it's perfect. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to choose the U and the exclamation points again. I'm gonna click on one, then hit hold the control button down. And now both of them are highlighted on the exclamation points because we want those together. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna group those together. That way I don't go ahead and bump it and mess it up. So just like I just moved that around, you never know when you're gonna click on the wrong thing. So that's okay. So we're gonna play around with this and then we're gonna line it all up. I choose you, I love that. All right, so let's make sure everything is uh, the same in terms of horizontally aligned with the front. So I'm gonna click on the eye. I'm going to hold control down and click on the choose. I'm gonna hold control down and click on the U. And I'm gonna hold control down and click on the front of the bookmark. You can let go of control. I'm gonna go up to align and I'm going to center horizontally. Now everything should be centered perfectly and it looks like it is. So I really am liking this. Now the thing is, once again, just like we do before, we need to slice it because we don't want to take all the time and heartache to cut out every single letter and then paste it on. You'll be taking forever and you'll pull all of your hair out. So we're going to instead cut it out of the front face. So I'm gonna click on I, and I'm going to click on, with the control button hold, held down, the front. So now it's just I in the slice result. That's what that is. And we're going to go down to the bottom, the first one on the right, and we're gonna hit slice. Now once that happens, you're gonna have the eye, it looks the same, right? But this time, if you click on the eye, you can move it. See, now you can get rid of that one. If you click on the other eye, get rid of that one. Now it is carved in. Now what happened to the rest of our letters? Don't worry, they're just underneath. So we're gonna click on that again, and we're gonna to go to arrange, and we're gonna move it all the way to the back. So now we're gonna do choose. So we're going to click on choose, we're going to hold control and click on our front face. And again, we're gonna go down here to slice and it's sliced. So we're gonna move the choose. Now I, you can just delete it from right from here, but sometimes I like to move it because to see that I didn't mess it up. If I go to move it and there's nothing underneath, then I know I messed it up. You can quickly go up to undo, that wonderful word undo, and it works great. So you can get rid of choose, 
You can get rid of the gray shoes. And last but not least, we have to go all the way to the back again. And we have you. Now I'm gonna show you something. Right now those two are grouped, right? So now we're gonna hold down our control and we're gonna select both. And now you see that slice is not able to be used, it's grayed out. And that's because you cannot slice things together if there's a group of something. So this is where you have to be super careful and make sure that you do not bump anything. You're gonna click on the U and exclamation points and we're going to ungroup. So the top right hand, you're gonna see ungroup. You're gonna click on that, it's ungrouped. So unfortunately, you're gonna to have to do each one separately. So if you click on the U and you hold down control to get the front face, you're gonna hit slice. And now you are good. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna take that front, we're gonna put it all the way in the back again. We're gonna click on the exclamation points. Then we're gonna hold control down and click on the front face, hit slice. You're doing great. We're gonna X out that. We're going to delete that. And now look at this. We have this I choose you. It's beautiful, beautiful. That's what we want. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna superimpose it over. And that, my friends, is what it's gonna look like, which is awesome. So instead of putting the little round pokey ball and playing around with the little glue dots and everything, we're gonna do go ahead and cut out a Pikachu. Who doesn't love Pikachu anyway? So it'll make it very fun. So now in Safari or Chrome or Internet Explorer, whatever you use, you're going to go ahead and you're gonna to go to Google. So I'm gonna click on a new tab. I don't wanna get rid of this. And I'm gonna to go to Google. So I'm gonna go Google. All right, it comes up. All right, so now in Google, we're gonna look for a Pikachu silhouette. And now you can see I've already looked for it. So once you get that, you're gonna to go to images for Pikachu silhouette. We're gonna click on that and look, there's the first one we wanna use. Okay, so all right, what do you do now? You're gonna click on it. Then on the picture, you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna to go to save image as. And I'm gonna save it as Pikachu Silhouette one, because I already have one saved. Okay, so we're gonna save that. Okay, now that's saved. So let's gonna go back to Cricut Design Space and we're going to upload our picture. So we're gonna upload, now, I already have it there, but I'm gonna show you how to import it and make it work for you. So we're going to upload the image. So you're gonna click Upload Image, and we're gonna go browsing for the file, Pikachu Silhouette, and I called it one. So we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna hit Choose. Now, it depends how intricate you want your cut to be. This is a fairly simple shape, so we can just do simple and that works fine. So we're gonna hit simple, it's easiest, it's fastest. We're gonna hit continue and we're going to click on the gray. And we can zoom in and we can click on all the gray because that's what we want cut. Otherwise, it will not cut it. That was simple. So now everything is cut. The checkerboard, if you haven't used this before, is just to show you that there's nothing behind it. So we're gonna hit continue. Now we can do two things. We can save as a print then cut image, but we're not printing this out on the, on the printer. So we're gonna save as a cut image. And that's what it's gonna look like, perfect. So we're going to click on that. We're gonna name it Pikachu Silhouette 1 or whatever name you want. And you're gonna hit save. Okay, image load, upload successful, perfect. So here's our image. So I'm gonna click on our image that we just did and I'm gonna to go to insert images. Okay, the first thing I wanna do 
to make this make sense is I'm gonna click on the circle where Pikachu silhouette is and I'm gonna change it to a yellow. Not really the yellow we're looking for. We can play around with it, make it look a little bit more like Pikachu. There you go. Okay, doesn't matter, like I said, because any paper you use is fine, but it's just good to view your project like that. So this is too big, I think, because I wanna be able to see more of my heart Pokeball. So I'm gonna take my arrows and I'm gonna just make it a little smaller and see where we're at. I like that. There's only one problem. I'm not sure that our kids are gonna wanna see black eyes. Now Pikachu happens to have red as its cheeks, so that's perfect. But the black eyes we're gonna need to do. So we're gonna get a circle. We're gonna take this circle here and we're gonna move it over. And while it's still highlighted, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna arrange it. And we're going to move to the front. So now it's ahead. So we wanna make it just big enough. And you'll see what I'm doing in a second. Now I'm going to unlock it and make it more of an oval. So I think that's good. Now when you get an oval, now you, I'll give you the dimensions so you don't even have to bother. I have it 0.467 is the width and the height is 0.286. Okay, so that's highlighted. So we're gonna go at a range and this time we're just gonna hit move backwards. We don't wanna move it all the way back. We just wanna move it under one. And now you see what I was doing. I have it so that little oval is gonna be cut out and you're gonna glue it behind the Pikachu and then what we do is we have black eyes. Beautiful, I love it. So this is what we need to do. This is it. This is it guys, it was super easy. I hope that you enjoyed watching this and now you can go ahead and you're just gonna hit make and you have your colored mats. You're gonna love this project. Your kids are gonna love this project. Um, you can customize it by writing a kid's name there in a fun font. It's up to you, the sky's the limit. I hope you would learn something and enjoyed watching this. And if you finish this project and do it, please comment below and let me know how you did. All right, thanks, bye.